and the back. So what I've done here is just made a I've divided a square into 32 sections both ways. So if you want to do this yourself, uh, and it would be beneficial to, then you should definitely pause the video right now and come back uh, once you've done this. So I'm going to do what I have done in this model here, this angel. We're going to make one wing. I'm going to show you how to do it. So, on the bottom right corner, so this is from your perspective, the bottom right corner of your square, you're going to count up 16 units. So, it'll be half the square. So, uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. That's 16. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 10. Yeah, 16 units. Now, you're going to draw a diagonal that goes 16 units back down to the bottom. It's 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, and 16. All right, so that's easy. Now, we are going to fold like this. Okay. folding like this. So this valley, this valley fold here is going to intersect that diagonal and then essentially uh, essentially ricochet off and go this way. Okay, so there's this and here. Oops. Uh, and so on. You get the idea. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I'll leave the camera running so you can see uh, how it's done. I'll have a zoom out so you can see what I'm doing. So first I'm just going to make all these creases all the way across. So I'm just going to collapse this whole section without worrying about this diagonal line. So this is just, you know, I'll, I'll do like this much faster. This works really well on the edge of a table, by the way. So I've just collapsed half the square. That, that's one half. That's the other half. Now I'm going to start from the edge of the square here. I'm going to start making these mountain folds. Like that. Okay. Then I make the next valley and mountain fold. So you can see what's happening here. When they intersect the diagonal, they connect with the, the, when the horizontal mountain valley folds intersect this diagonal line, or crease, they um, turn into vertical mountain valley folds. So that's what we have now. All right. I'll stretch that out a little so you can see. 
There you go. Alright, so that's what it looks like. So go ahead and collapse that. Alright. Now, on this model, on this angel, this point right there, right here where all those creases converge, make a V is this point right here. Alright? So that is right there. This section. Alright. Obviously this is only half. Uh, if I had a larger sheet of paper I'd do the other half and you could see that this would continue and then it would make a bend in the middle and then come out this way. Alright. The wings on this on this uh, model hinge at one, two, three, four, five units. So I'm going to just take this and make a little mark at five units from the origin of the wings. So from this point here, which is the bottom right hand the bottom right hand corner of your square. I'm just going to count this way five units. There's one, two, three, four, and five. Right? Oops, lost it. One, two, three, four, five. Right there. Right. Okay, now. It's been so long since I've done this. You gotta give me a second. I have not made wings like this in probably two years. Okay. I am going to unfold this section, not completely, just I'm not going to actually push the creases out, but just enough so that I can draw this line all the way down to where it intersects the diagonal, and then all the way out this way. see that. Yeah. Now, oh my goodness, as I said, it's been a very long time since I've done this. I gotta figure it out again. Okay. Alright, this is gonna be difficult to explain. So I'm going to re-collapse this, now that I have that line drawn, and show you what the, uh, what the wing is going to look like. So it'll bend right there on that line that you just drew. Okay. And this is actually going to bend, i got to figure this out. My apologies, this is just very difficult. So what we're going to do is fold 
on this line. So if you have a mountain fold on the left edge of your paper, you're going to make a mountain fold on this line. All right? So there's a mountain fold here. You're going to fold, make this into a mountain fold as well. All right. Now this mountain fold is not going to go all the way through just yet. It will, but not not yet. Okay. Well, actually, you know what? it'll be easier if it does just for now. This is going to change, by the way. All right. So you'll fold it like this, not all the way down, just 90 degrees. Okay. So we're going to do something here that's a little bit unorthodox to double the amount of layers uh, or the amount of creases here. The way we do this is, again, I gotta work this out. Sorry, reverse that. If you have a mountain fold here on the left side, you're going to make this a valley fold. All right, sorry about that. Okay. This is going to be really hard to explain. I'm going to draw the creases on. Uh, actually, I'll draw the creases over here, much larger, and then I'll draw them on here. right side up, otherwise I'll confuse myself. I'm using solid lines as mountain folds and dotted lines as valley folds, or dashed lines as valley folds. So mountain, mountain, valley. So this is um, that 90 degree bend. It is this part. Okay. Uh, so this, this crease here is this right here. All right. So we have a uh, mountain fold, mountain fold, valley fold. We are going to turn this into a mountain fold and then create a valley fold on either side. All right, this is doubling. So if this is a, a 32, uh, no, let's, let's simplify this. If there are normally eight units across here, that means there are going to be 16 units across here. Uh, other way around, I drew the, the six backwards. Okay, there will be 16 units up here if there are eight down here. Now, the way that works, or the way this works, is by using a really sneaky uh, technique. We are going to scrap uh, this. See 
is we're going to go like this okay I'll draw this out so you can see how I'm doing it All right. I'm going to flip this over so that it matches up with this diagram okay uh, that doesn't match with this diagram this matches with this diagram okay so we've got a mountain here a mountain this is the edge all right and this is the valley this is the hinge crease all right so this line this line is this line, this valley is this valley, this edge 